so what uh, what I want to do right now is just go ahead and announce uh, two of, of the four games. We'll announce two starters. We're going to announce Pilkington, obviously, Friday night. Um, and then we'll go TBA. Then we'll go Plumley, TBA. So that's how – sorry. That's how we'll uh, go ahead and, and, and kind of what we're willing to announce right now in terms of the weekend. Certainly not trying to keep any information from anybody, just trying to see who's going to be available, who's going to be ready to start, um, those type of things. So it will truly be a work in progress, see who could start, who's ready to go do it um, after we attack Friday night against South Alabama. You got Ashcraft in that role the other night, and he seemed sure. to really – do well in that matchup role. How pleased yeah, of you? I was really excited to see him on the mound the other night in that reliever role where he could kind of just, um, you know, air it out, so to speak, and not have to try to be so fine with his pitches and have to mix a change up in there and try to get to all three pitches to extend it out to five innings. I felt like that role fits him perfectly right now um, in terms of just being able to bring him out of the bullpen, his first bullets at 96 miles an hour, with two wipeout sliders, it's one strikeout on three pitches. You could just kind of see his confidence grow the other night. And um, he was begging to go back out for the next inning. But in terms of, you know, he had just started on Sunday. I just wanted him to get one out the other night. And he did his job. He was tremendous at it. Um, so we're going to kind of see what type of role he's going to be in this weekend. Moving forward, I would anticipate him to maybe come out of the pen Friday or Saturday maybe have the possibility of starting on Sunday. That's kind of a wait and see right now, but was certainly excited with Graham and the way he came out of the bullpen the other night in complete attack mode. Two plus pitches, 96 with a wipeout slider was outstanding. Is there anybody that's not available this weekend? Um, in, in terms of uh, anybody new, we're, we're going to attack the weekend with the same guys that we've had the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, look to have the same type of guys pitching in the same type of roles uh, that we used them in Oregon, uh, same type of roles that we used them against Louisiana Tech the other night. Uh, we're going to keep running out to the mound the guys that we have available to pitch. Is it complicated that, again, it's another four-game weekend, which I understand in the future you want to get away from. But sure. You're also splashing it between two midweek games and getting ready for SEC season. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the, the season is unforgiving. It really is. The schedule is a tough one. Um, and obviously next weekend, and, and I'm not going to look ahead at all, but the following weekend you go to Arkansas and kick off SEC play, uh, which is going to be a tremendous battle in Fayetteville against those guys. Let's talk about this weekend, South Alabama and Columbia. South Alabama is a fantastic program with an awesome head coach. Uh, Mark Calvey has done an outstanding job at South Alabama in terms of resurrecting that program. That is a program that has had so much history and so much success. Um, they are one of the best teams in the country. They are doing some gigantic things this year. Um, their recruiting coordinator, uh, Chris Prothrow, is a friend of mine who has done a tremendous job of getting players into that program. They are an outstanding ball club. We have tremendous battle ahead of us this weekend. Um, it's going to be another weekend that's going to prepare us for the SEC. South Alabama just put up a gigantic game the other night against Auburn. I believe it was only a seven-inning ball game where they beat Auburn 13-4 to the other night. Um, and earlier this year, I think they scored five touchdowns against somebody in a midweek game or a weekend game. I think they put up 32 runs against somebody. So it is a tremendous um, challenge for us this weekend. Um, but I promise you it's one – that we're looking forward to getting back and playing another ball game at home. We need to continue to get better and better. We are an ultra young club that is gaining experience by the game, gaining experience by the practice day, um, and we are playing everybody really close, playing everybody really tight right now. Uh, like I mentioned the other night, we're a team that's capable of beating anybody right now. We are capable of losing to anybody right now. Um, but we have the ability to play everybody in the country extremely tough. We just have to learn how to win these close ball games. You talk about those guys learning things. Have you learned anything in the first few weeks? As a, has, this, has this kind of been a real learning experience for Absolutely. you in the first few you know, weeks? Every day we play somebody, every practice day is an opportunity to get better at my craft in terms of how to prepare 
this team to play every single day? What roles guys fit in? What roles guys fit this team the best? Maybe ultimately down the road, guys will have different roles as they get to be 20, 21, 22 years old in college baseball. But right now on this young team, guys are having to do some different things that they haven't really been accustomed to doing um, because whether it's the inexperienced thing, whether it's an um, arm issue thing, whether it's a health thing as position players, it's having to put guys out on the field and learn on the job. This is on the job training for a lot of guys. We're getting better and better by the game. Uh, we've already got one victory this year over a top 10 team in Texas Tech. You go on the road and beat a really good Oregon team in horrendous weather for three straight days, rain, snow. We are getting better by the day. I'm looking forward to us continuing to take steps forward this weekend as a, as a team. Using Brent Rooker in the DH position, mm -hmm. is that a matchup for the outfield or is it just getting better defensive guys out what there? What we're with... trying to do right now is put our best athletes, our best defenders on the field right now. Brent Rooker is a very serviceable, adequate defender in right field. He's going to be out in right field this weekend. Um, he's going to play right field. He's going to DH. We're just trying to put the best guys out on the field that ultimately give us the very best chance to win ball games. We've got several young players uh, and older players. When you talk about guys like Brant Blaylock, Jake Mangum, a guy like Tanner Poole, those guys are elite runners. Those are 6'4", six, 6'5", six, type of runners that can really defend. They cover a lot of ground. So it's a really nice to be able to run those guys out there to defend out in the outfield. But at the same time, if you could put those three guys there, out there in D.H. Rooker, then you've got a chance to have a really athletic team that's going to have a chance to hit a lot of, you know, hit some home runs and drive runs in. But if those other guys that I mentioned, the Blaylocks and the Pools, aren't quite ready to play every single day here, then Rooker's going to go out to right field because he's going to give us that veteran presence out in the outfield and on the field every day. Last nice. time. Uh, last time we talked to you in here, uh, you had mentioned that Blake Smith, some you know, was having his MRI by way and stuff, mm -hmm. and and this, the Eli, y'all were going to talk to him. Y'all got back more. Is there any yeah, change sure. in status with those um, guys? Nothing's nothing's changed at all with either one of those guys. Uh, Blake Smith um, is not available to us right now. He is dealing with an elbow issue. That's kind of as far as I want to take that right now. Um, Eli is still in the same role as he was the last couple of weeks. Um, and I'm certainly not ready to announce any changes with that. Uh, we currently are going to attack this weekend. We have two catchers on our roster right now, Josh Lovelady and Dustin Skelton, and we're going to go play every single day. Those guys are going to give us their very best effort every single day that those guys are on the field. Those Both of those kids are winners with plus makeup, and I know they're going to bring it every single day and do everything they can to help Mississippi State University win baseball games. You put Rigby on the mound last two ball games. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel like he's he's getting back to where he needs to um, be? Um, it, it is a day to day thing with Riggs right now. Um, some days he feels really good. Some days he has trouble walking. So um, there are some issues and things going on with him. Um, he's going to see the doctor today to see what his availability is going to be for this weekend or moving forward. So. Um, we are kind of in a wait-and-see mode with him. Um, we are battling some issues and some injuries right now um, that I think is very obvious for everybody to see um, in terms of just the sheer depth and number of guys that we are dressing out every day. So um, there's an injury bug. There are some off-the-field things that we're dealing with. Um, but I know, guys, the guys that put that uniform on every single day are all in. Those guys are winners on the field. They're winners off the field, um, and they're going to do everything they can to help us win ball games. Uh, the guys that are hurt, it's just an unfortunate thing. We've got some extremely talented guys that are hurt right now that could really be helping this team, but they're not available. They're, they're hurt. They will be back. It might be next year. But at some point, those talented kids are going to help us win ball games here and are going to help us have a lot of a lot of success here with this baseball program. How has Rooker adapted to being a, a DH? Just... He's been outstanding. I mean, you could just tell, look at his numbers. There hasn't been any drop-off at all when he's DHing opposed to playing the outfield. And DHing is a really difficult thing for young guys to do because a lot of times it takes a special person to be able to DH because 
you're in the dugout, you're sitting down, you're hanging out for basically 45 minutes to an hour every time you get to hit type of thing. And a lot of younger guys' minds will wander, they'll get preoccupied with other things, and then they'll panic because they're on deck or they'll panic because they're up third this inning. Where Rooker is into every pitch, um, he's dialed in, he's constantly figuring out pitch patterns, what's going on, who's in the bullpen. Brent Rooker is a tremendous college baseball player. He is an outstanding off-the-chart makeup guy. I am so fired up that he's a part of this team. He is a pleasure to coach every single day. Is there any chance uh, Noah Hughes plays this year? Or are y'all going to bring no, him? No, Noah is slow? out. Noah is uh, Noah is part of our 35-man roster. Gotcha. Um, we have absolutely zero plans, zero intentions at all in pitching Noah. I wanted him on our 35-man roster this year because he's going to be a really big part of what we do in the future here. I want him at practice every day. I want him in the dugout every day. I want him standing by Coach Henderson every day. Just – I know you can't pitch right now, but if we're going to be out, I want Noah Hughes to dedicate himself in the weight room. I want him to dedicate himself in the classroom. He's already a good student. Go to class every day, make great grades, be around our team every single day, become a better pitcher by standing around Coach Henderson for nine innings in the dugout every single day. But there is zero chance that Noah Hughes pitches at all this season. Um, He's going to be an outstanding pitcher here at Mississippi State. It just won't be this year. Is he, has he been throwing bullpens? Or he's anything? been throwing bullpens. They've been going extremely well. Um, he's a mature kid uh, that's serious about baseball. Unfortunately, there is the elbow issue. Mm-hmm. There's the rehab part of it going on, but he is throwing pens, feeling really good. He will help us win next year. Basically, cool. you have a whole pitching class come in as recruits next year, yeah. <laughs> but, but season. <laughs> Guys, it's uh, it's been an interesting, let's just use interesting uh, time in terms of just availability of pitchers, that type of thing. Um, it certainly makes um, finding roles. It certainly makes um, finding innings and being able to navigate four games in a weekend extremely tough to do when you have a limited number of guys available every weekend Um, but the guys that we run out there have a lot of pride in pitching here and they're going to bring it every single day and they give you everything they got so I love coaching those guys they're going to keep going out there Um, there's some frustration in terms of just not having guys available guys having arm injuries guys having surgeries blah 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 Um, but we're going to go play every single day with the guys that we have available and this team um, with a limited number of guys is going to find ways to win ball games and we're not going to back down from anybody because regardless of who we have anytime you put that Mississippi State jersey on you're represent, representing a lot of history you're representing all the great things that this program is about and those guys are going to bring it every day for us.